Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. Um, and as well as these are three short impulses, so three times short blinking, and then three times long blinking, and then again three times short blinking. One possibility to do this is now to repeat this blink again and again and just change the duration of the blinking and the pauses. And to make it a little bit easier, we can work with a construction which is called a for loop. This here is a for loop and that means that something will be repeated and it is the thing what is here in this curly bracket. So here curly bracket open and closed and everything in the middle will be repeated. And how much time will it be repeated? This is what we declare in the for loop declaration up here. So at first I have a number what I'm talking about. This is a variable i and it starts with zero. I didn't declare an I bef this, this I variable before and therefore I have to declare it here with this int I. And I can declare it and set a value to it directly. So I have to say int I is zero, semicolon, and it should be repeated as long as I is smaller than three again semicolon so this is the abort uh, condition and I have to say I++ plus plus, which actually means that this I will be raised each time by one so I++ plus plus means I equals I plus one what does this mean Actually, again, it's quite easy. I have this variable i, which starts at zero, and this for loop will be run through as long as i is smaller than three. And each time this for loop is, um, is running, i is counted by plus one. So how many times will this here go through it's three times because the first time i is zero drrrp. second time i is raised by one so i is one it's still smaller than three drrrm. and again i is raised by one then i is two and it can run through and now i would be three but there we have our condition as long as e is smaller than three, but now it's not because it is three. So uh, this uh, this condition is false. So it so the program will jump out of the for loop and go on here. All right, and now we will discuss a special type of variables. Until here, we only said that a variable can store one value. But there is a special type of variables which can store a lot of values and it is called an array. An array is declared like you can see here with this brackets and it can get different entries. So what I what what my aim is to create a for loop which is run through by nine times and it should and for each time it should um, have a special duration of the high impulse of the LED. So here I have different values and each value represents the duration of how long should the LED be on. So here these are 300 milliseconds for three times, one, two, three. Then it should blink 600 milliseconds, one, two, three. And then again, three times short, 
three, 300 milliseconds. One, two, three. So this is my declaration of this array and later in my programming code I have a for loop. This time the i is not only run through three times because actually here in this last example I would have to use three of these for loops to um, say okay in the second time it should or in the second for loop this should blink 600 uh, milliseconds or wait 600 milliseconds but here I will make the code much smaller and even a little bit smarter right so this for loop will be run through nine times from 0 to 8 then e is i is uh, smaller than 9 and here this waiting time there I use this array and I say my array brackets at the position i and my array in the position i i you know is raising from 0 to 8 and this will be something like an index from here so if I say my array position 0 then this are 300 and this will be here so this will be replaced as long as i is 0 by 300 if i is 1 then it will be replaced by 302 but the second position of the array if i is 4 then or if array is uh, 3 then my array on the position 3 will be 600 0 1 2 3 600 an array always starts with number 0 so the first index of an array is always 0 okay and after this whole for loop I have a delay of 1000 milliseconds so that the program will in the end wait for one second so that we can see a difference so and if I now take this code in the Arduino software and upload it to my Arduino board here then I can see how it's blinking so here is a break and now it starts short 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 long 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 short 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 SOS This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc forum. Thanks for watching.